How did the new guy look? I mean, he, he looks good. He looks good. Um, you can tell he was um when he was in Jacksonville, he was locked in. He was um ready to go, ready to play. Uh, so that's the same energy he brought here. You know, he's uh, asking a lot of questions early on. Um, he, you know, he, he wants to compete. You know, he's he's um he's a defensive back. You know, and um we like to compete. So um, that's definitely um early impressions on uh, CJ man. He, he he come in and he's ready to compete, ready to make us better. And besides next man up type of talk, what what's going to be the key for you guys in the secondary to kind of uh, withstand a couple of the injuries you've hit? Just play hard, man. Play hard and compete. Uh, we know what type of caliber players that they have on the other side. Um, so that's one thing we just got to be be ready to do, man. Work out stuff and um, you just get ready to compete and play hard um, and, you know, expect a fight. Let's go to Nick Carboni, followed by Mike Solarte. Dante, it's obviously a pretty talented receiving group that they have down there. What do you see from from guys like CD and Amari on, on tape? Uh, big play guys, um, can run every route, um, go up and get the ball, physical guys. Um, yeah, they make plays for their quarterback, man. Um, uh, uh, number four, he, he really trusts those guys to go up and make plays. and. Uh, yeah, and they, they, you know, they have the talent uh, and athleticism to do it. So we just, like I said, we just got to be ready to fight uh, and be ready to compete. Um, you know, these we all know these guys aren't any slouches, and uh, we just got to be ready to go. Yeah, Dante, kind of dovetailing off of that. When you when you think of that Dallas offense, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Is it quarterback, running back, wide receivers, or oh my gosh, they got so much. <laughs> um. You know, uh, it, it comes to mind that you know they have they have a lot of weapons and um, and they know how to use them. Uh, number four is a great decision maker. Uh, twenty one runs the ball really hard as well as twenty. And uh, we talked about the receivers and what they can do on the outside. Um, well, but we're gonna be ready to fight. We're gonna be ready to go. Uh, we we know um, the amount of preparation, the amount of you know physicalness that's gonna come with uh, this game. So um, that's just really what we're trying to you know. Just, just get everybody trying to get their minds going in the right direction to, um, to get ready for, like I said, get ready for a fight. And if I could squeeze in another, uh, Jeremy yesterday was talking about, uh, or Monday rather, was talking about the standards set by the defense, and, and it's the bar that you guys set. But your position group, the DBs, have really suffered a lot in the way of injury. How difficult is it for you guys to kind of maintain that standard when you're rotating in a, a C.J. Henderson or or, or guys from the practice squad, that sort of thing, and, and bringing back A.J. I mean, how, how difficult is it for you guys to maintain that standard when you lose guys that were, you know, your starters to, to injury? I mean, the, the, the standard is set. The standard was set um, back in the offseason. You know what I'm saying? We know what, um, what type of, you know, you know, what type of toughness and what type of, you know, just, just – you know, hard play that comes with, you know, just being on this defense and just getting a chance to go out there. So I think it definitely trickles down. You know, it don't just stay up at the top or stay with the starting guys or the guys who get a lot of playing time. It trickles all the way down, you know, throughout the uh, depth chart. So I, I definitely uh, trust every guy who 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 is, you know, going to be out there with us. You know, I definitely trust all those guys, man. I trust everybody to know what they're doing. I trust everybody to play physical. I trust everybody to, to fight for 60 minutes. And um, and um, as far as CJ, you know, like I said, you know, he's a guy who, who, who you can tell was playing, you know, great football um, in Jacksonville just based off, you know, just his mindset coming in. So I think he's a guy that's going to be easy to uh, bring along with that. Um, just, just, you know, just getting that brand and just getting that standard down. I don't think that he's a guy that's going to be, you know, um, out the win. In, in terms of you know going out there and playing hard and uh, and competing because I think that that's just what this defense comes down to. Let's go to David Newton followed by Will Pilatcher. Hey Dante, glad you're here today. Um, I want to ask you, Matt Rule is talking about how he loves the fact that the Panthers are almost getting overlooked nationally. Um, I'm curious what your thoughts are on that and why you think you guys are overlooked. I mean, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really pay attention to, to none of that, man. I just come in every day, and the only thing I'm focused on every week is, you know, is getting our team together and making sure that we we can do our stuff. You know, uh, I don't really get caught in caught up into, you know, who who what who thinks of us or what what you know what this media guy says about us who never came to a practice or what this outlet says about us who never seen us play. So. 
know what I'm saying? We, we, we know what we want to be. We know the level that we want to reach. So that's the only thing that matters to us. You know, whether, whether we're up there and top tier to, to everybody on the outside, it really doesn't matter. The only thing matters is, is this building and this organization and um, this offense, this defense, and this special teams all coming together and going the same direction. So, you know, if you're with us, you're with us. If you're not, then you're not. It doesn't really affect anything we got going. And I want to ask you, what's your thoughts on Dak and the level he's playing? I'm sorry? Your thoughts on Dak Prescott and the level he's playing? I mean, you know, you know what type of talent uh, Dak is. Um, he's a, a great decision maker. He's a tough guy, and um, he, he wants to win. And you can tell that he just, he, you know, he that, that type of energy he has, that, that winning energy is just infectious. And um, you can tell those guys out there, offense, defense, special teams, coaching, everybody's out there, you know, fighting for four. And um, like I said, you know, you can tell that, they, that all those guys are going the same direction. And um, he's a big part of that. Just from the standpoint of playing who you're playing, I don't need to tell you what kind of attention that Cowboy franchise gets on a national level. How much of you kind of relishes that uh, that spectacle and that kind of uh, that spotlight as far as playing against this team in a, in a national type game, uh, especially with as well as you guys have been playing to start the year? I'll just block out the noise, focus on us, and um, it's another game. It's another Sunday. It's another opportunity, you know, um, for us to you know, continue to make a name for ourselves. And I think that's, that's just the only message. You know, we're not really uh, brought into the whole production part of it or, the, the, you know, the whole, you know, star-started part of it. Um, we obviously know, you know, what type of pro, uh, organization that is. Um, but like I said, we're just blocking out the noise and focus on um, another game this Sunday and, and going one and know this week. Let's wrap it up with Jonathan Alexander. What's up, Dante? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm curious, what, what do you think has allowed you all to, you know, be as efficient as you all have been uh, through these first three weeks, the defense in particular? Uh, just, you know, playing for each other. Everybody playing for each other. Everybody, you know, want to be first to the ball. Everybody want to be first to the pick. Just challenging each other, man. Everybody um, is really just bought in on just playing for each other and doing um, – Everybody doing their 111, knowing that the guy beside you is going to be doing his 111th. And um, I think that was just um, something that we instilled, you know, way during like OTAs or sometime, you know, where we just going, you know, just going to fly around and just make, make this energy, make this, you know, physicality infectious.